So today I want to talk about Shepherd's Tones. Uh, real quick, a Shepherd's Tone is a tone that keeps going up or down in pitch without really ever stopping. It's sort of like an audio illusion, like when something seems to move but it really doesn't. Um, so I have a little audio example here, and if we take a look at the spectrum we can uh, kind of figure out how it works. So you can see that basically what happens is lower notes begin to fade in and go up in pitch and the higher notes go up in pitch and begin to fade out and it continues like that in a cycle and then it seems to go up forever but it never really goes anywhere. So today I'm going to show a really easy technique that you can use to make a shepherd's tone yourself. Um, but why would you want to use a Shepherd's Tone? Well, they can give a lot of tension. Uh, there's this famous example from Super Mario 64 where it's like an infinite staircase. Um, and y as you keep walking up it, the music plays and it keeps getting higher and higher. But the music never actually becomes higher, so that uses Shepherd's Tones in the melody to give this sort of idea of going higher and higher without ever actually going anywhere, much like the staircase itself. So I've kind of inspired on that and made my own little example of that. Another way you can use shepherd's tones are for build-ups. Uh, because if you have a tone going up, you know, that's a very typical thing for a riser. But the problem is if you just do like a straight, you know, pitch automation, um, your sound tends to move across different frequency ranges, of course. Whereas a shepherd's tone kind of stays confined to its own space, which in a busy mix can make it a lot easier to mix into the tune. So there's a very simple technique you can use. It just requires one plugin. Uh, it's called Corkscrew, and it's from the Anarchy Effects Bundle. And basically this plugin just creates a bunch of pitch-shifted copies of the sound and slowly starts pitching those around, fading out the higher copies and fading in the lower copies. So you can use this plugin to take any sort of droning sound, like this, and turn it into a shepherd's tone. Of course, you can play around with synthesizers to make your own shepherd's tones, and I've done that in the past, but I found using this plugin to be much more easy and much more effective, because it's quite fiddly to set up your synthesizer in such a way that it starts producing a shepherd's tone, uh, which kind of takes you away all of your sound design energy. So by using this plugin, you can just design a drone, slap on the plugin, and then you've turned it into a shepherd's tone pretty much instantly. So unfortunately, it seems that the website of the plugin developer is down, but luckily you can still grab a copy of the plugin from VST for free. I'll put a link in the description. Um, you just gotta download whichever version applies to you here. Uh, and the installer will install five very interesting plugins, and the one we're interested in is Corkscrew. Now for a couple of general tips for using it, uh, slower speeds tend to sound more convincing, so you can see that I've set it at minus 0 0.066 hertz, which is very slow. And it's a quite convincing shepherd stone, but if I start to increase that, you kind of start to lose some of that illusion, and it starts to become quite obvious what is happening. I think the reason that it works better at lower speeds is at higher speeds you can really hear the new notes just popping in rather than gradually fading in because it has to fade them in much faster at uh, a higher speed. Also with this plugin you get four different quality settings and I found that sometimes lower quality settings actually sound better with these plugins. Um, not necessarily because it sounds more clean, but because it distorts in kind of an interesting way. So I encourage you to play around with these quality settings and see which one you prefer on which sounds. 
Finally, you can also use this plugin to make kind of an inharmonic shepherd's tone. You can see the way I have it set up now, it creates four pitch shifted copies and it spreads those out equally over 48 semitones or four octaves. So in other words, uh, all of the pitch shifted copies are going to be precisely one octave away from each other with this setup because 48 divided by four is 12, so that's one octave. But if I increase this to like say, I don't know, five copies or something, then it's going to sound much less harmonic because the voices are no longer spread an octave apart from each other. And you can hear how much more spooky that sounds than just doing four voices. So yeah, I hope you learned something from this video. If you want to see more videos like it, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. I plan to do lots more over the summer. And I also have a Discord server. Uh, lots of people have been posting cool samples in here, so... If you want a sick drum fill, you can download it in my server. Cheers, thanks for watching.